Thanks. Good to see you. Feel like you heard. Feel like it's been a long time. Huh? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. But I'm back, guys. Thank you for waiting and joining us here tonight. We do have a limited crowd, but they're loud and they are ready for Super Tex to try to beat the clock. Now, you're going to have five matches. MTX champion Dave Sagan, as you said, and the yellow team. You're going for the Everything shortest first. match possible. From Waco, Texas, Super Tex, Brent McKenzie. You're going for the shortest match possible. Brent McKenzie, the right hand, he could end it in an instant. Yeah, Brent McKenzie. He defeated Xavier Daniels in that bull rope match and fight win survive. Tonight, who's his opponent? We don't know, but he's got to win as quick as he can if he wants a good spot in that gauntlet match. Of course, if he loses, his spot goes to whoever his opposition is here tonight. And we need to point out that not one member of the gauntlet match knows who their opponents will be. Well, just like us, we... <laughs> oh, there... oh, the most hated man in MPX, Dexter Hardaway will face Super Tex. And how badly do you think Dexter Hardaway would love to take Super Tex's spot in that gauntlet match next week? Hey, not only that, he wants to win. He's on a three match win streak right now. He is, there's, I don't think there's anybody hotter than Dexter Hardaway in MPX right now. He's on a roll. A big roll. And his opponent from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Dexter Hardaway. He hasn't looked better than he has in the last three matches. He was not a part of Fight Win Survive, however. Was not. You know, from Jason Silver to Rob Exotic, he's knocked off everybody. Could Super Tex be next on that list? And could Dexter enter the gauntlet here next week? And that win against Jason Silver was huge. That's a former MPX champion he took down. And now he's facing another one in Super Tex. This is going to be a. Brent McKenzie would love nothing more than to get himself back to the MPX title. He's a former champion, but to do that, he's got to get past Dexter Hardaway here tonight. And as we said while you were in the ring, Cody, that right hand of Brent McKenzie can end it quick. And of course, these beat the clock matches, you don't want to waste any time. No, you got to have a sense of urgency here. You want the best spot you can get in that gauntlet match. You want to be in there for as little as you need to be next week to have the best chance to walk out MPX champion. And remember, the opponents for those in the gauntlet match, they don't really care about the time that much. They're not in the match yet. No, they're, they're concentrating on getting a win. Yeah, they want a spot in that match, and they can take it with a victory here tonight. Dexter Hardaway, he's first up, but uh, not looking good right now. You can't outrun Super Tex in oh. the foot race. You deserve that. Dexter yeah, yeah, getting yeah. face planted right there on the floor, and he would love nothing more than to play spoiler here tonight and make sure Super Tex does not take it. Already, we're like less than a minute in, and you got a chop. We're 53 seconds in, according to the timer. You missed a couple weeks, so you know they need to get them, get them in quick for you. Here they come. Where were you, Richard? We were looking for you the last couple weeks. There was something wrong with my mic. I was told, just like there's something wrong with Dexter's hand on that chop. Oh, huge clothesline right there on the floor, right in front of all the addicts. And hey, maybe Brent McKenzie gets a count of victory here. That would definitely count. And so far in this match, Dexter Hardaway faring about as well as his Detroit Tigers right now. Are they not doing well? I'm just a guy from Tulsa Wait, become a Detroit you Tigers fan. You know, Cody, they have packages now, just like MPX can be seen around the world and throughout the United States included, just like baseball can now be seen that way. So you can make fans everywhere. Hello, Germany. I know you love Tyler Foster and Richard Hill. It's good to have you back on the MPX Network. I'm, I'm, actually, big, I'm, I'm big in Germany, I've heard. I'm actually We're part German. In, you're not big I'm in Germany, German. Cody. But Tyler and I are big in Germany. And a oh double chop this God. time. That was, that, both, that was both hands. Echoing around the MPX Event Center. That's just disrespectful. Two minutes have passed in this Beat the Clock match. Two minutes. Here, that time is important to Brent McKenzie right now. Yeah. Brent McKenzie heard that time being called out right there. Decided he's better. Whoa. Oh, wait. Oh, he's oh, line. No. He was looking at it. And Dexter with that chop block. If McKenzie could have won this match in two minutes, he might have been the favorite here. Oh, nope. definitely if you could have won in two minutes, you're a favorite. And for Brent McKenzie being the first one out tonight, you're setting the time either good or bad. I mean, we'll see how he fares, but. 
It's not looking good for McKenzie right now. Well, of course, and like we said earlier, whoever gets the fastest time is the last person in that gauntlet match next week, and that gives you a huge advantage. Coming in last, a, a fresh guy coming in, and you might be taking on someone that's perhaps beaten four guys already. Who knows? Yes, yeah, the shorter your match, the better it's going to be for you in the gauntlet because the later you go in. It's just like the Royal Rumble as far as the time goes. You want to be the last person in on that Rumble. You don't want to have to face four different people in that match. Dexter taking that leg out from under Super Tex, chopping the big man down to size. Smart part on the move of Dexter Hardaway. This is what he's got to do if he wants to get the upset here against Super Tex. Would you call an upset? He's on a three-match win streak right now. Yeah, Dexter Hardaway, he's on fire. I mean, I don't know that it would be an upset. Oh, Springboard beautiful. leg drop. Nicely done on the part of Dexter Hardaway. Hashtag the, Dexter. The, the social, social media, media king, as he calls himself, right? And just look at the back of his trunks, it'll tell you. Social media king. Got a nice hashtag on the back of his trunks as well. Super Tex, right. take a look at those. Super Tex definitely the favorite here, Tyler. Well, yeah, I mean, De Dexter Hardaway, usually not a crowd favorite. I mean, there was that one time in that four way, but otherwise, not usually a crowd favorite. Well, McKenzie now trying to get back to his feet. He's feeling the effects of that, that left knee, trying to walk it off. Although he was winding up for that right hand there, I got a little word for Dexter. Oh. Four minutes have passed in this beat the clock match. Four minutes. We're at the four minute mark. Now, Brent McKenzie, you can sell. Look, Look at out. Oh. oh. He wants oh. to get this done as quick as he can. But watch the watch the uh, the knee right there. He almost fell both times. Yeah, Brent McKenzie not able to put a whole lot of weight, but wow, oh. able to power huge power slam. slam. He had some weight behind that one. And McKenzie trying to build some momentum. Brett McKenzie having to fire himself back up a little bit to put as much weight as he can on that knee that Dexter Hardaway has weakened to a great deal. Oh, dropped hold, oh, catches this. McKenzie right there on that middle rope. Oh, Dexter, Dexter's got him right where he wants him. He's been waiting the well, six one caught. knee on the way from Dexter Hardaway. I think he took too much time. Oh, oh no. He took oh. way too much time. This was his move. He was so excited. This was the moment he'd been Did waiting for. Oh, no. End of the line. Oh. Huge end of the line. Is that going to do it? That does it. Brent McKenzie is your winner. Wow. Your winner of the match at 5 minutes and 12 seconds, Super Tex Brent McKenzie. Tyler right out the gate. Uh, Brent McKenzie, he wins. He keeps his spot in the gauntlet. Five minutes, 12 seconds. We'll see how that time fares as we see the rest of these matches coming up here tonight. Brent McKenzie, he's setting the pace for everybody else here tonight. And that's a pretty good time. I mean, it's going to be tough for a lot of these other competitors to beat five minutes and 12 seconds. Can they do it? We're going to find out. We've still got four more beat the clock matches still to come. But Brent McKenzie starting things off hot. Five minutes and 12 seconds the time to beat. And we still don't know who the other competitors are going to be against the members of the gauntlet. Baby D, Tatum Manning, Stephen Kirby, and MPX champion Dave Sagan, whose title is on the line as well as his spot really? in the gauntlet. And any one of them, Dave Sagan could lose his title. Any one of the others could lose their spot in the gauntlet match for that title next week. Dave that, Sagan definitely has the most to lose here tonight. And that's not all we've got. We still have to come. A huge six-man tag team match has been made. And we've got a number one contender for the prospect title match coming up. I think that's going to be next. It's time after time limit.